Hey guys, it's Roger. I'm on location in one of the great Charlotte neighborhoods, very close to the Arboretum, close to South Park, very easy commute to Uptown Charlotte. It's called Lansdowne. There are a lot of really neat traditional homes from the 60s and 70s. A lot of them have been rebuilt, touched up, made very, very cool. And this was one that obviously was torn down and started over from the beginning. We're gonna take a tour of it. Like I said, it's priced just under $2 million. We're gonna go in through the garage because I got my nice shoes on, going to a realtor event, trying to avoid some mud here. But uh, again, you come in, you've got a generous three car garage and just an awful lot of style with this house. As always, you wanna call me and not the listing agent. We wanna represent your best interests as uh, that listing agent has the best interests of the seller at heart. Now, this half acre lot has got a lot of room for a lot. And I'll show you the backyard here in just a second. Wow, guys, eight foot. The ceilings already, I see that. Laundry room space. The windows are cased, which I love. Drop zone, coming in from the garage. A lot of style, a lot of class. And this is from Four Oaks Builders. Now they, they've been around for a while. They're uh, out of the Indian Trail area. Uh, big pantry right here off the kitchen. And so uh, reputation untarnished that I know of. And so I've seen their name around. And um, this is my first time being in a Four Oaks Homes, but I think that they, like a lot of local niche builders, got their start in the production industry, I would imagine, and said, hey, it could be done better than this. You know, and so that's how things get improved upon. Somebody may start working for a production builder and then go out on their own. So again, cased windows, it's, everything just looks exquisite, guys. And then you come into this, uh, covered patio so you got double doors right off of here I'll show you the backyard from the other dimension my signature move if you're a uh, subscriber of mine is I go to the kitchen sink which is going to be here and look out if you're not a subscriber hopefully you'll take care of business wow it's fun seeing the coffer go in uh, and this big sliding glass door going out to what seems like a huge backyard I mean in today's standards have a half an acre like this, unheard of. Beautiful, what, what would you see uh, back there? Is that a pool for you? So we're right in the city, guys. This is city living. This is close to Cotswold. It's close to, uh, again, South Park. So a lot of reasons to love it. And then to get uptown, just zip right uptown and it's easy peasy. So you've got this office space up toward the front, but let's just call it a bedroom. It's got a closet. So double duty, but you've got these 10 foot ceilings with all this gorgeous molding. And so that's the first one. Again, I'm, my breath is about halfway taken away. And you've got a powder room here. So you've got a primary suite on the main level. And then you've got a powder room right there. Nice long narthex going in. And then look at the vault. Look at the vault on that. That is spectacular, all the windows. So we're stirring some paint up here. The bathroom is just amazing. Again, you've got this huge closet. If you built that out with a trim carpenter, just imagine the possibilities. Whoops, another one? Nice. Ceilings go way up, so there's plenty of room to utilize that for some great storage. So a couple of sinks right there. Look at that, a huge shower. Mercy me, that is like exquisite. And then this commode room itself is huge all by itself. So guys, for a primary suite, that's where Jack would go to get his bath. Really nice stuff here. We got the craftsman here. And so let's go upstairs. Primary suite on the main level. We saw that other room. I, it had a, 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 a small closet, so I could call that a bedroom, couldn't I? But in, in reality, probably more like an office with room for some storage and so on. I keep coming back to this space. This space is quite alluring. And, and part of it is, if you notice, just the canopy of trees that are in an established neighborhood like this. You know, Charlotte was uh, designed by Mr. Nolan, a landscape architect. And so, so much of uh, Charlotte is about trees and the canopy of trees. In fact, down in Myers Park, so here you've got a big bonus room. Down in Myers Park, a lot of those huge, huge oaks were from a a planting season that they had. They intentionally planted very mature trees many, many years ago, I don't know, a like hundred years ago. And uh, wow, the Duke Mansion is a good example of that. And by the way, if you're a Homeland uh, fan, the TV show Homeland, first three years, 
were taped and filmed right here in Charlotte. And a friend of mine, a real estate agent, I, I was watching some old episodes the other day, and I saw my realtor friend, Bob Bunsey, who was in the, an extra in a few of those. That is money right there. You know, I did try to get in, but I didn't, I didn't get in. Closet. And then again, what they're doing is using the roof lines to make interesting architectural statements. So you've got, they're working on this floor, so I'm not going in, but you've got a very neat looking little bath and commode combo. But when I say things like that, when you got a dormer coming out and you accentuate those roof lines, that is interesting stuff. This is a very sweet room here, I like it. So uh, Homeland, think about Brody's house. That was in a Charlotte neighborhood called Mountain Brook. They eventually reproduced it in a soundstage warehouse. But uh, that's not far from here in that neighborhood that he was in like 60s ranches and so on. Very much like Lansdowne. So what do you put there? A table, a desk, some kind of a piece coming into this room. Again, you've got more of that architectural style there. Casement windows, that's cool. And so, uh oh, got a whole nother bathroom suite back here. Look at that. So another ensuite bathroom. Gorgeous, guys, and a barn door. Did I say a barn door? I did. So you can see styles all over this house. Again, you never want to call the listing agent or the builder. In this case, listing agent's a great agent, but he does represent, and she, the best interest of the seller. Here's another great, wow, look at this space, with a crown going up. Nice, so that's a, another sweet spot. They, did they have to do that? No, they didn't have to do it, but they did. And here's where you get craftsmen at work. Look at that, pretty, 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 good looking stuff. So guys, I would love for you to give me a call at 704-345-3400. Ask me about the house in Lansdowne and I'll have one of my agents help you reach out to you and depending on when you see this, if it isn't sold, say you call me a few weeks from now, if it's not sold yet, then I can come back and shoot another one. We make relocating to Charlotte easy. So if I've helped you today with this $2 million house in Lansdowne, I think I have, hit subscribe and we publish videos every day. Give me a call 704-345-3400 and I'll see you in the next video.